So in order for you to change that behavior, you have to stop being available for people. You have to stop saying yes to everyone else, okay? And you have to start saying no. Hi everyone, I'm John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur. It's always such a privilege, pleasure, and honor to be with you on these amazing uh, mornings and evenings. And I wanna thank you so much for tuning into Super Motivational Friday. You know, motivation starts because of a choice that you make in your brain, in your heart. And that is that you wanna become better. You wanna raise the bar. And that's why I wanna thank you for listening, for watching, and for subscribing here to help YouTube and all the other social media platforms be able to feature my content to other great people, just like you, that want to capture and digest these nuggets and apply them to their everyday life so they can become better and help others become better. All right, guys, so when we think about start, when we think about stop, maybe you're thinking about a runner, right? And when you run, you have to start. You have to start walking, then after you walk, you have to, uh, maybe you go to a jog, then you go to a faster jog, then you go to a run, a medium run, then you go to a faster run. And see, people think that uh, runners actually run the entire race. They don't. They kind of operate like a cruise control, um, very similar to an air conditioner, where you know you maintain a temperature, you maintain a certain speed, you maintain certain distances, and then that's predicated based on the people around you. And then you can either decide to, you know, push up the stamina to run a little more so nobody passes you, or stay with the status quo of so many people not passing you. And then you have the stop, right? You stop running, then you start basically a different mode, which is to jog or to walk or what have you. You also have to start in the morning uh, before you run by exercising, by stretching, and then you have to stop, right? And even with the race, you have to start, and at the end, you stop at the finish line. In our life, before we can start something else, we usually have to stop something first. So if you have a bad habit, for example, you need to start paying attention right to it, but before you can do anything about the habit, you gotta stop something. Maybe uh, it's a habit of people, uh, let's say, that constantly um, just come around you for favors. And you just happen to do things for them because you think they're your friend. But all you're really doing is basically eluding yourself. So in order for you to change that behavior, you have to stop being available for people. You have to stop saying yes to everyone else, okay? And you have to start saying no. No to others, um, no to abuse, um, no to feelings of being tired, and you have to start saying yes to yourself. If you're looking to become better in your career, Einstein said this very well. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. People do it every day. They're like, why is it not working? Why am I not successful? Well, have you changed something? No, I've been doing the same thing for 50 million years. Well, Einstein did say that doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, that's insanity. Are you insane? Oh, of course not. It's just, I figure I have to practice. Yes, but if you practice and what you're doing isn't working, then perhaps it's what you're doing. Oh, I get it now. So when you want to do something in life, you have to realize that you have to stop something. So in the case of what we're talking about being better, like uh, maybe achieving more money, you've got to stop the behaviors you're currently doing. Stop procrastinating. Stop the woe is me attitude. Stop the I can't do this. Stop the I'll never be like that. Stop the thing you do, which is putting yourself down. Stop listening to others that actually put you down. You got to stop all that. And I know it's hard because it becomes like this natural pattern that we just follow, very similar to waking up in the morning and you know, um, let's say getting changed, undressed, 
uh, taking a shower, having breakfast, shaving, right? Brushing our teeth. It becomes a natural algorithm and we do it almost unconsciously, right? You don't think how to brush your teeth. You just say, I'm going to brush my teeth and I start doing it. So I want to share this with you today. And that is if you're not happy with your life, look at what you're doing, identify it and realize you might have to stop some behaviors and start some new ones. Now you're going to have to be diligent at this because when you start something, it's not going to become autonomous overnight. Sometimes it could take 30, 60, 90 days or more before it becomes automatic. Ladies and gentlemen, I am John C. Morley, serial entrepreneur. Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to the channel here and allow my content to be pushed out to so many great people like yourselves that want to improve the quality of their lives. Be sure to visit BelieveMeAchieve.com and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video real soon.